Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce to you the new Apex A2 desktop UV printer, UV4060. After receiving the box, please open it first, and the first thing you will see is the packing content list. So please check one by one if all the parts which are on the list really in the delivery contents. Second thing you will see is the instruction menu. So if any question, Please check it with this instruction menu. Then you will find the stink pumps. Before you can start producing with the new UV46, please uh, remove the protection, the uh, transportation protectors, which you can find here on this side and on this side. This is the ink box. Here you find the tank, uh, tanks for, the, for each ink. Two tanks for white color. It has an ink steering system which, uh, which avoids that the ink is scented. So, this, this system will work every hour for two minutes. Here you can find the CMY cases. Each tank can carry one liter. Each tank is equipped with an ink sens with a sensor that you can see here on the LEDs when the ink is low. The next step we will connect the ink box with the printer. It is important to align the ink box with the ink box holder on the edge of the ink box holder, like this. After this, we can fix it with the screws. The next step is to connect the ink tubes with the ink tanks. To know which one has to be connected, there are labels on the ink tubes. So C is for cyan. M is for magenta. And Y is for yellow. When this is done, can connect the power cable. After this, you have to open the ink valves like this. The next step is to fulfill the ink tanks. What is very important, you have to shake the white color for five to seven minutes like this, and the other colors for three minutes. Now you open the after you have done this, you open the ink tanks. And just fill the ink into the tanks. For the next step, we need to prepare first the syringes and the screwdriver. Then we take the screwdriver and open the cover of the printer head. Like this. After the cover of the printer head is removed, we take out, for example, the black damper which is labeled with a K. Then you take this black syringes and put it in there. But it's very, it's very important that you do that not too hard, otherwise the damper can be broken. Then you do it just like this. Until the ink is in the syringes. After the ink box is installed completely, we can Plug in the power cable here, the USB cable here. Now we can switch on the machine by pushing the power button. On this card, you find our drivers, software, and menus. Please follow the instructions on the menu. After this, you need to connect those two USB sticks to your computer. After we start the software successfully, we can go on by with cleaning the printer head. We do this by pushing the cleaning button, then we down, down, enter. Now you hear that the cleaning process starts. It will take around about two minutes. As we can see here, you can do printing on nearly any kind of material. Here we have canvas, stone, ceramic, 
word, PU, even the form does not play that role. You can even do printing, for example, on a golf ball. Now we are, we are able to get started with our first print job. In our example, we are using phone cases, but um, it's even possible to, to print on objects with a heat height of 14 centimeters. This is our result. I think it's really looking great. If you'd like to have any further information, please visit our webpage under www.apex-chat.com.